Hi, my name is Joe Stackhouse. Uh, this would be my third video here at the Windows 7 forums. Um, I have an IT background, and being in IT, we often find ourselves having to support people in remote locations. Um, sometimes that can be really easy uh, if you have a tool such as Remote Desktop, um, or even stuff like Go to My PC or Team Viewer. Um, but sometimes you have people that uh, do not have easy access to them, whether they're behind a firewall or their internet just plain sucks. Um, so Microsoft has included a tool in Windows 7 called the Problem Steps Recorder. You can access this tool by going to your start menu and typing in psr.exe. Um, you can also do this from run, but uh, I find that the, the quick search here does just as well finding exe files. Um, you can also find it by using just the word recording, which is actually easier. If you, if you have somebody call up and say, hey, I need help, and you tell them to do this psr.exe, they might get all confused. So a lot of times I just have them type recording into the quick search. And um, if you look in the list of items, I'm sorry, it's not recording. It's record, sorry. Um, but you'll see that quickly the first couple options here, record steps to reproduce a problem. And uh, once they pick that, um, they'll get this screen right here. The problem steps recorder, very basic program. All you have them do is have them click start record and then you'll have them go on their desktop and uh, run whatever program it happens to be that's causing them the problem and um, have them reproduce all the steps until they get to the problem and once they get to the problem they can stop the video I'm just recording calculator here because I have nothing better to do I don't have a real error in my case but once they hit stop record what happens is it will now record it recorded every mouse click every keystroke it does not record a video however it takes screenshots along the way um, and it will ask them well where do you want to save this and it'll actually go ahead and zip it up for them so let's title this Joe's problem hit save I'll turn my desktop icons on because I have them hidden And you'll see that it's made a zip file here on the desktop called Joe's Problem. Now, they can email that to you, send it to you over instant message. Uh, however, they can get the file to you. Uh, you notice my there's a fairly shortly short video there. Uh, it's three megs. That's probably because I actually have multiple monitors, and I'm guessing it probably tried to grab JPEG images of each one of my screens. Um, let's unzip it real quick. It actually uses an MHT file, which is kind of like, it's an HTML file with embedded objects such as pictures, uh, audio, whatnot, that is just a single file. Internet Explorer, as far as I know, is the only thing that can open MHT files. Um, I could be wrong, there might be other web browsers, but it's a, it's a Microsoft HTML library, basically, file. I, I don't think any other browsers support the format. Um, once you open it, it might take a minute to render here, you should see every step that the user took to reproduce his or her problem. And along the way, you'll see that it recorded screenshots. And in this case, you can see it actually captured both of my monitors. I have two 19-inch monitors on, on them at the moment, and it's captured both of those. That's why it was such a big file. Normally, they're very small files. Um, but you can see every step, every time I click the mouse button, it actually tells you user double clicked on five, which was a push button, the number five in the calculator. So that's kind of interesting. It actually tells you what they click on, if it can find the information. I'm sure applications have to be written well enough. Uh, right here it says user click left clicked on the multiply push button. So it actually shows the button that I pushed and it shows a screenshot along with it. If you scroll down to the end, I think it gives some more details here. But every step of the way, yeah, right here at the very bottom, additional details. It'll tell you their operating system, how many steps are in here, when the recording session started and stopped. And again, it gives you a text, um, a text readout of what happened every step of the way. Uh, it's kind of interesting. It actually includes the program here. It actually says Windows Calculator. It reads the version from the EXE. 
uh, so you know exactly what version, what, what company made the program, and the EXE name of the program. So you can actually get some more details there. Um, and again, just it shows every step of the way here. Obviously, this wouldn't be very much help reproducing blue screens because at that point, all hope was pretty much lost as far as capturing that blue screen information. Although, I think later on down the line, once I've made a couple of these videos, I'll actually make a video, a pretty detailed video on how to troubleshoot blue screens, including how to analyze memory dumps because not very many people know how to do that. And it's not too incredibly hard and it's some very valuable information. You could at least usually isolate it down to which driver is causing a blue screen issue. All right, again, my name is Joe Stackhouse. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be submitting another one shortly.